In what sounds like a scene from Sex and the City, Sophie Caccia has detailed how she once brutally dumped ex-fiancé, Maddie Garrick, to be with Aussie soccer player Alana Kennedy. Just a week after their shock split, an excerpt from Sophie's book, Then There Was Her began doing the rounds, detailing how the 31-year-old left her basketballer girlfriend after sex to pursue another relationship. Blondie, Maddie, and I were lying in bed. We just had sex, and I rolled over to grab my phone when it buzzed on the bedside table. I love you, babe, read the text. Please just come to me, the excerpt read. Oofed. This was it. I rolled back to face the girl I'd been with for over a month, the girl I'd just slept with. I've got to go, I said, bursting into tears. I'm so sorry. Nothing I can say right now is going to make any of this better, but I'm going. According to the mum of two, Maddie lost her absolute mind and stormed out of the house. Rightly so, given my disgusting behavior, she admitted. I grabbed all my stuff, snatched up my bag and scribbled out a short note for when she returned. I'm sorry. I ordered an Uber to take me to the airport there and then. The phone rang. I didn't want to answer, I didn't want to face the horrible thing I'd just done. She wanted to talk, but it was too late. I'm sorry. There's no easy way to do this, I can't let you down slowly, I told her. I'm going to her, I love her, and I am sorry, that's all I have to say, I finished, the ice in my voice shocking me. Sophie and Alana dated until their relationship fizzled out, with the Australian Survivor alum returning to the woman to whom she would become engaged. Sophie Caccia described her relationship with Alana Kennedy as toxic. During an interview with Mia Friedman on her No Filter podcast in May, Sophie described her relationship with Alana as toxic. I don't like to use the word toxic, but our relationship at times showed signs of that for sure, which we both contributed to, she said. Situations I continually put myself in was someone that I don't even know now and I'd never known before. She then admitted that her ex was an incredibly strong woman and found herself cowering down to someone all the time, willingly. And that's what I was attracted to. Because it was such a different relationship dynamic for me. I'd never known anything like that. So I thought, oh, this feels different. I'm gonna go with this. Sophie Caccia's shock split from Maddie Garrick after her relationship with Alana ended, Sophie returned to Maddie, and the pair became engaged in March 2022. Then, seven months after their announcement, Sophie revealed that they had gone their separate ways, with sources telling so dramatic, that infidelity on Maddie's behalf was at play. The former couple had just begun a long-distance relationship after Maddie moved to Florence, Italy, for a work opportunity, with Sophie jumping on a plane to visit her. Suddenly, she was back home, revealing that they were no longer together. In an Instagram post dedicated to her close friend and personal assistant Caitlin Pilati on November 4, Sophie gave more of a glimpse into the moments following her relationship breakdown. They say you become the environment you're surrounded by, she penned alongside a snap of her and Catelyn. From answering a 4 a.m. call from Italy to get me home to right now, this chick has held my hand helped ride the wave with me lately. Sick. Sophie is yet to talk publicly about what actually led to her relationship ending. Want even more goss? Listen to episode 226 of The So Dramatic podcast with Megan Pustetto below. Know something that we don't? Spill the tea here, get the tea first. Follow So Dramatic on Instagram and tune in on Mondays to get your reality tea fix with the So Dramatic podcast with Megan Pustetto. Anita Lyons, November 7, 2022.